Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is very exciting because me and my husband are on our anniversary trip for our one year anniversary. He's right here looking for a place for us to go tonight and we're very excited. We talked all throughout dating about how we wanted to go to Savannah, Georgia, which isn't too far from where we live, just a few hours, but we like didn't go on trips together when we were dating and so we just decided that it would be fun to come here together so right now we just got to our airbnb a few minutes ago and i was going to give you guys a little tour so this is the front door and then you walk down this hallway and then this is the bedroom and then there's a door in here but it's the same as this and it goes into the bathroom and so we just have just a cute bathroom, love the all white, very cute. And then if you keep walking down the hallway from where you come in, this is washer and dryer in here. And then you come into the main area, which has the kitchen, the fridge, all of this. This is a pull out couch, but we honestly don't need it since it's just the two of us. And then our view, it's really not that special, but that's the view. And here's another view of the kitchen from this way. So very cute overall. And so now, like I said, we're probably, or Drew's looking for somewhere for us to go tonight. And we're planning on just going to dinner and then maybe like some kind of dessert ice cream or cupcakes or something and then maybe just walking around so we're excited Monday today and as you can probably tell I just woke up took a shower it's about 8:45 or almost 9 I think but we decided to sleep in a little bit and I just wanted to fill you in on what we ended up doing yesterday so we kind of just walked around a little bit and we found this restaurant that's right on the river I think it was called the cotton tavern exchange and it was really good I got just like a club sandwich and then Drew got shrimp fettuccine alfredo and then we just kind of walked around a little bit because we were both really full and when we finally felt like we could eat more because we wanted to go to an ice cream place we just went to this place that was right beside the cotton exchange or cotton tavern exchange it was just like one of those gift shops that have like savannah georgia stuff on it and so we went there and we got ice cream. I got mint chocolate chip and Drew got moose tracks and it was quite delicious. And then we just sat and uh, watched the sunset by the river. After that, we ended up kind of walking around a little bit more, but we were, we were really full and we were honestly tired. So we just came back to the Airbnb and we just kind of chilled, made a game plan for today. And we also booked this haunted tour well drew booked it and so one of his friends had come here before with his wife and they told us to do it but i'm not really into like ghosts or learning about any kind of dark stuff like that because i just i don't mess with it and drew's not either but he said that he was looking online and reading the reviews and it's really just kind of like a historical tour at night and you ride on like a trolley he said that it wasn't going to be scary or anything so we booked that for wednesday night and so today's monday we're about to head to a breakfast place called two cracked eggs and it's also right by the river which is like a six or seven minute walk from where we are and then we'll walk around go to some stores go to lunch probably walk around some more and then we have this cute coffee shop we want to try and then tonight we'll go to dinner
so now it is it is now 3 30 p.m and we just got back to the airbnb my shoes were absolutely killing me and so we went to get some band-aids from walgreens along with a couple of gallons of water because the water here is like I don't know when you're near the coast it just tastes like fish and it's not good to drink so anyway we got some water we're back for maybe like an hour or two and then we we're gonna head to dinner we ended up going to this really cute breakfast place um, like I said earlier it's called two cracked eggs and it was kind of a long way it's literally been so hot today that's why I have my hair pulled back and we're so sweaty both so sweaty like we're having to wash our clothes and then um, wear them tonight so yeah and Drew's in the shower I'm about to take a shower just to wash off the layer of sweat because it's just so humid this week I don't know why we went to the breakfast place it was so cute it was really good and then we just kind of walked around a little bit we went to Lululemon Urban Outfitters Free People Anthropology H&M and then a couple of other random stores I didn't end up getting anything except this clip from H&M. I really haven't been on like the whole claw clip train but I think they're so practical and so anyway I ended up getting one. I was gonna show you guys but I don't know where it is currently so anyway it's just like a pink mauveish color plane. It was like four dollars and then we went to this coffee shop but I'm kind of picky when it comes to coffee I really like iced coffee but I'm never good at choosing good coffee from local places but I typically just get like an iced oat milk vanilla latte but their vanilla flavor was just like weird I don't know so Drew ended up getting it and he didn't really like it and there are like coffee grounds in it which I don't know it's just like gross you know and so I ended up just getting something from a Starbucks that was right near there I know that's basic but um, we were both super tired we just didn't sleep well because it was so hot in here last night and so like I woke up multiple times sweating and Drew did too so we are chilling out and then we're headed to dinner later Good morning. Today is <laughs> Today is Tuesday and we just got back from breakfast. It was very good. And now we're headed to the beach for a day. So now we're back at our Airbnb and it is storming outside. When we were riding over here, it was really bad, but now it's not as bad. It's still raining. Here's the view for my Airbnb. So it's still raining as you can kind of see, but not horribly. So basically we left, we went to the beach. It was really pretty. We ended up renting an umbrella because it was so hot out there, like so hot. And I love to tan. That's like my favorite thing about summer and about going to the beach and stuff, but I couldn't even lay out in the sun for longer than like 10 minutes because it was so hot so we rented an, um an umbrella and that was good but around two o'clock the girl who was with the umbrella rental company said that the lifeguards were having everyone get out of the water because there was lightning and so we didn't even see the lightning it was still like really sunny where we were but of course you know you turn around at the beach and there's like huge storm clouds behind you so we ended up just leaving and our plan was to go to this place that was really close to where we were because we were in tybee island and there's this cute little place called wet willies and they have cute little frozen drinks and just like classic stuff like burgers and so we were excited to go there and we were just going to do a late lunch but we both just felt so disgusting and like gross drew he doesn't get in the water really he was just super sweaty mixed with sunscreen and then i got in the water a few times because i was so hot and so mine was like sunscreen mixed with sweat mixed with just dirty east coast water salty just gross my hair is so gross so that is how i'm looking right now my hair is definitely still wet from it and 
Drew's in the shower and I'm about to shower and I'm gonna have to shampoo the heck out of my hair to get it back to how it was. But <laughs> it is 3.30 now and we still have not eaten lunch. There's also a Wet Willies here in downtown Savannah and so we're planning to go there. So that's what our plan is for the rest of the day. currently under this cool pergola thing and we're just chilling trying to figure out what to do we walked around through found black rifle coffee store which is his dream and now we're just chilling currently on our way home and I'm filming from my phone because my camera's packed up in our suitcase in the back but we're currently at a gas station and Drew just went inside to get me some water and we're pumping gas right now but I didn't end up filming any yesterday honestly because I just didn't think about it I don't know I'm not used to filming stuff yet but we ended up just going to a little breakfast place and then we went to this fort called Fort Pulaski and it was cool it was really hot but it was cool just kind of learning about some more historical stuff and then we left and went to eat lunch and then we just kind of chilled out in our Airbnb for a little bit until we went to Wet Willies which is basically like this place where they're like alcoholic ices and it was so good they have all sorts of different fruit flavors and so I love that kind of stuff. We got that and we just kind of sat and watched the sunset while we were eating those by the river and then we ended up just kind of chilling until dinner. We went to this little restaurant on the river and then we went on this tour and it was basically just riding a trolley. We got out for a couple stops and it just rode around and told us about like some people in Savannah's history and it was very different than what we were expecting. The gas is finished, but it was very different than what we were expecting. I think we're glad we did it. I don't know if it was worth the money, but this morning we just woke up and packed everything and then we left and now we're on the way back. So overall it was a really good trip it was a really good time being able to just spend the week together and celebrate our anniversary which was on monday i'm really a homebody though and so i'm really excited just to be home and to unpack everything clean everything to take a shower in our own shower to sleep in our own bed and all of that and just kind of get back into the routine of things so Anyway, it's been a good trip though and um, would definitely recommend going to Savannah. Maybe not for as long as we did. You could probably do like two full days and then be good. So anyway, but thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're planning a trip to Savannah, hopefully you got some ideas on where to go. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and would love for you to subscribe and follow along. Bye. Love you guys.